Police body cameras are being used more in the Los Angeles Police Department. Reporter Morgan Bertolotti looks into how the police department is attempting to establish public trust. Police use of force has been heavily scrutinized for more than a year, following several high-profile incidents of violence. The increased attention has renewed calls for law enforcement officers to wear video cameras while on duty. The Los Angeles Police Department is steadily rolling out body cameras across divisions. George de Jesus is a police officer in the Mission Hills Division. He says the body cameras help build public trust and protect officers. It allows transparency with the public, it allows officers to be exonerated from uh, complaints that um, pretty much don't exist. A study published in the Journal of Experimental Criminology looked at how body cameras influence police-citizen interactions. It showed that body cameras helped reduce forceful physical contact by nearly 50 percent. Tanya Williams is a student preparing for law school. She says body cameras are a good start. If they're going to be used, but not in a timely manner or through checks and balances, I think you're back to square one with the problem of non-transparency. People say police body cameras are a sensible solution. They provide another view that may balance what citizens record with their phones. But some people are skeptical. Kasim Nabolsi is a political science professor at Cal State Northridge. Body cameras will show a narrow spectrum of what things have taken place. They do not see the leading event and the unfolding events that arrived at this point, it does not also capture one of the most important aspect is the psychological uh, impact on the police officer and on the alleged or accused of the committing the crime. The U.S. Justice Department is providing $20 million in grants to help spread the use of police body cameras throughout America. As more law enforcement agencies begin using body cameras, questions emerge as to when they should be turned on and off and how much footage should be made available to the public. In Simi Valley, Morgan Bertolotti, Valley View News.